Hey everybody, continuing on with the uh, Colt semi-autos, I uh, just wanted to bring you a couple of Colt Juniors. Um, if you want some really good information on Colt 1911s, the Colt Junior, um, anything related to the Colt semi-autos, definitely check out uh, Mr. Colt 45 ACP. Um, checked out several of his videos and he provides a really good in-depth look at the history uh, between Colt and, and Astra who uh, actually contract Colt contracted with to create these these pistols and uh, just very knowledgeable and he's got a bunch of these and uh, obviously 1911s that he showcases on his site so uh, if you want to know more information more than I can give you on these um, feel free to take a look at, at his YouTube page because there's a lot of good information so this here on the left is the Colt Junior in 22 short Junior Colt caliber 22 short on the other side you see Colt's patent manufacturing company Hartford Connecticut and down here you do see made in Spain for Colt's and that's because these were made by a company called Astra uh, back in the 50s and 60s and this one actually dates to between 61 and 62 so they're really fun little guns to shoot and uh, they do have, I'm pretty sure, I believe they have a magazine disconnect. Yep. So, just to show they're unloaded. I already knew that, but just to show everybody. Has a safety, and uh, it also has a slide lock. So, on your last shot, this will lock back. Um, and you can put the magazine back in after you reload it. Drop the slide. They're, they're really fun to shoot. Uh, this one in 22 short is just an incredible little gun. Um, the sights are actually sights that I really like. Um, these are almost similar to, if you see my video on the Smith & Wesson Safety Hammerless, um, they're, they're pinpoint sights. They have uh, a thin groove and they're pointed at the top at the rear sight. And I actually like that. I can see what I'm shooting at uh, a lot clearer and I, I kind of like the pinpoint um, front blade and everything so they're a lot of fun to shoot and they similar they function similar to a 1911 you have single safety cock you can carry it cocked and locked <laughs> I really wouldn't want to do that I mean 22 short uh, you know I don't think I can say too much on the self-defense um, 22 short cartridge but um, a lot of people carried these, a lot of people had fun plinking with them back in the 50s and 60s and 70s even. On the right is the the Colt Junior N25. They just say here Colt Automatic Caliber 25. Um, same basic functioning, safety and a lock and the same type of hammer. This one again is unloaded as well. These sights look to be a little bit more rounded than the, the 22 caliber. This one's a later model. This one's, uh, I think, 71, 72 uh, is, is when this one was made. But again, a fun little gun. I mean, it fits so well in the hand. You, I mean, <laughs> it, it's basically an extension of your hand. Um, it's a lot of fun to shoot. But these are just two, not, not necessarily unique Colts, but... Um, you know, it's, it's kind of getting difficult to find these in, in good condition. Um, this one has a little bit uh, from the early 60s, a little bit of bluing worn off right at the muzzle. Um, just a little bit of scratching here, but in general, it's still in really good condition for its age. And again, these were, were not super high-priced pistols or anything, so a lot of people bought them just to plink with them or throw them in their pocket um, back when you know 380s and things like that uh, probably weren't top choice people just wanted a pocket gun they could throw in their pocket and this would definitely accomplish that but again it's getting a little more difficult to find these in any type of shootable condition at least that, that I've experienced looking through gun shows and things like that uh, it's getting tough so if you find one in good condition you want a little plinker a fun little gun fits well in the hand um, I'd encourage you to pick them up. They're, they're a lot of fun to shoot, and uh, maybe one of these days I'll throw a little shooting video up. Um, it's getting 
tough to make shooting videos with all these these guns but um, you know I'll try my best to get some shooting videos up and you can see how these work and they're, they're just a lot of fun I mean 22 short has absolutely no recoil um, it's it's just a, a pleasure to shoot so hope you enjoyed this video and uh, again if you want more detail on the history of the uh, Colt Jr. or any other 1911s for that matter uh, I definitely recommend going to Mr. Colt 45 ACP Search for his site on YouTube and you can get a full history on these and, and other 1911s. Um, I recommend that to everybody if, if you're interested in these. Thanks for watching.